downloaded the Rock Identifier app and I'm gonna scan these gemstones and see if they come up jade or not jade. We're gonna reveal what they actually are as we go through. Okay, I'm gonna hit Identify. Rock Identifier would like to access the camera. Okay. Got a whole bunch of rocks here. We're gonna start with this one. I feel like I have pretty good lighting in here, so. Get out of town. It identified this as hydrogrossular garnet. Damn it, I really don't want this, I really don't want this app to work. <laughs> I don't want it to be right. But so far, uh, this is hydrogrossular garnet. Um, it might also be Vesuvianite. It might be a couple of things. But yeah, I would say that this is, that was accurate. And just for the record, even if these are right somehow randomly, it's it's still not a substitution for testing. Let's try this one. This stone actually kind of looks like jade. It's super, super dark, has a nice glassy luster to it. Let's see what the app thinks it is. All right, it is scanning. Okay, so the app thinks that this is a clinoperoxine called azurine. It's not a terrible guess, honestly, but this is in fact serpentine. So it was able to guess the hydrogrossular garnet, but not the serpentine. All right, next, if you guys saw my rough jade video with Shane from Freshwater Jade, you already know what this is. And in fact, we do dive in deep in that video on what these stones are, how they look like jade, and how you can tell that they're not. So be sure to check that out in the description. Let's do this. It is scanning. Serpentinite, aha, okay, so this is definitely nephrite jade. And the rock identifier app thought it was serpentinite. Now when it actually saw serpentine, thought it was azurine. So after only testing three stones, one was correct and two were wrong, we can start to see that this is a very unreliable method of testing. And just so you guys know, serpentine and jade, very often mistaken, even by professionals, which is why it's so important to have your stone tested or to rely on the expertise of a professional with lots of experience handling the stones. Next one, I'm really excited to see what the app thinks this is. That camera button. So this thinks it's a type of jasper called unikite. This is actually thulite. It might maybe have a little bit of jade in here, I'm not sure. But um, this pink zoocyte here is technically called thulite. The jasper is a really good guess. What's happening here is this app is professing to identify minerals based on appearance, and that is just not how you can tell. Gemstones are properly identified based on a number of testing methods. Right, because gemstones aren't what they are because of how they look. They're what they are because of their chemical composition and crystal structure. In laboratories and in the gemological profession, we test these stones using advanced science, such as spectroscopy, refractometry, specific gravity, microscopy, and many, many more testing methods. Your iPhone can do a lot, but there's not an app for that. All right, final one. Let's see what this is. Is the rock identifier app going to correctly identify this stone? Do you know what this stone is? All right, focus on the prettiest side of the stone, filling half of the frame. Oh my gosh, this is authentic. Guatemalan jadeite jade. This is good stuff. The app thinks that it's quartzite. That is a very good guess, but it is incorrect. Quartz is one of the most common simulants of jade. It's not surprising at all that this app would guess that. Honestly, I would say that this app is probably coming to the same conclusions that a lot of people would if they were to just look at a stone and guess without any testing. And it's because the app is just comparing the image that I'm taking to other images on the internet of known minerals. These were the two that were jade, and the rock identifier app got both of these wrong, calling the nephrite serpentine and the jadeite quartzite. Thulite and serpentine, which are often misidentified as jade, were not called jade in the app, which kind of surprised me. I thought the app was gonna call everything jade, and it did accurately guess that this is hydrogrossular garnet. The takeaway from this, everybody, is to shop with someone you trust. It is very hard to identify stones without testing. Most people can't do it, and your app definitely can't do it. Rely on the expertise of someone who is an expert in Jade. If you check out my Jade of the Trade video playlist, you're gonna see interviews with professionals from Mason K. Jade, Jade West Mining, Freshwater Jade, Justin Jade, and more. Trustworthy professionals in this industry that know what they're selling and understand the importance of properly identifying Jade. Have you used the Rock Identifier app? Is there another app I need to test out? Leave me some comments and let me know what you think. And be sure to watch this video on rough jade testing with Freshwater Jade.